Oh, hello. Welcome to my $5,700 a month Dubai apartment. Please, come on in. We have the couch. This is where I work. Let me give you a bit of a house tour, okay? So over here, we got the half bathroom, okay? And we have the kitchen, which people describe as the tiniest kitchen they've ever seen in their life, but never cook here. I just have the meal plan, which is a, by the way, a cheat code. Instead of you having to cooking and clean, I just do that. Here's the living room. We have the couch. This is where I work. But what I, what I love about, what I love about this apartment is it has this big, so when I when I moved here, well before I started making some money from sales, like my biggest goal was to have a window where I could actually watch the sunset. Because when I was living in my parents' house, there's like no window. I could never see the sunset. I was like, Fuck, this kind of feels miserable. So I want to live in a nice place. And this was my dream apartment and I actually got it. So each time you can't see the sunset right now, but each time I'll see like the sunset, like red circle going down. It felt beautiful and it felt Amazing. So over here you have the Sheikh Zed roads, which is like the main road here in Dubai. You have those kind of crazy looking things and you have this building, which is very cool to see. Let's go over here. Uh, this is where the magic happens. And when I see magic, I'm just like passing the fuck out like a baby. So this is a bedroom. I like it. Decent size. And over here we have the TV that I never fucking want. It's just for decoration purposes. And we have the balcony and I like this balcony. When it's in the summer, I don't really go out, but typically in like October, that kind of places. Then I like to just kind of sit here, look at the view, it's pretty nice. This is my uh, favorite chair for reasons that I will not disclose here. So <laughs> there's the closets here. You gotta put this here, it's pretty nice. Let's go to the balcony. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be shy, come on in. I'm probably the worst house tour ever. I should have done like some MTV Cribs video research, but yeah. And then we have the bathroom. There's that. It has two sinks. I've never had two sinks in my life, which is pretty cool. And yeah, towels, all that is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, they clean the, the beds. They, they, the cleaners come in twice a week, once on Tuesday, once on Fridays. And which is amazing because I'm not going to clean. I ain't got time for that and I'm lazy. So they come in, they clean it, everything's all Gucci. Let me show you the different amenities around the, I feel like a realtor now. I feel like a Dubai realtor. It's like, come on in. Let's do a amenity tour because this building actually comes with a gym and also a pool and also the rooftop area. They have the spa and like the, the rooftop and pool, all that kind of stuff. So let me kind of show you around because that's one of the reasons why like, I like this building because it's kind of like a hotel, right? So this call, I'm not gonna close the name, but people probably have an idea of what built this, this building is anyway. But it's one of the more newer buildings here in Dubai, it's built. And it's actually a hotel and then residents built into one. So it's almost like you're living in a hotel. And I have like the, the, the phone to like call the reception and all that kind of stuff. So let me show you around outside. Come on, come on. So this is the pretty much the building lobby. What I like about this lobby is when you walk down, it feels kind of like this show here, right? It feels really nice. You know, it's, it's kind of looks luxurious. Things are clean. So it's pretty nice, you know? You feel like you have abundance. Pretty cool stuff. And when you go here, you'll see a rare sighting in Dubai. Or in Dubai, you don't have really have trees, but you can actually see, I don't know if it's fake or not, but we have trees. So it feels like you have more oxygen into your lungs. So it makes you think clearer. I feel like a fake guru. It's <laughs> like coffee area. You can order like coffee and like stuff like that. And let's actually go here. This is, this is the pool area. So, over here, we have the pool because I'm part of the residence. I can just chill out there. I'm chilling the thunder over here usually, and I'm chilling at the pool. Typically what I do, is my daily routine. I go down to the lobby. I go to the gym downstairs, which we'll go over in a little bit. And I just get some sun. I think it's good to get some sun, I think. And I just kind of hang out. On the weekends, there's quite a bit of people, but on weekends, it's very peaceful. So I like to do that. And by the way, and also usually, I don't know if you can see it here, Typically around outside of the building, like there's always like fancy cars parked and I'm not really like a person. I'm not like, oh, look, serious Dior. I'm not all that kind of stuff. But what that does is for me, it, it really makes me hungry. So I really think I'm the brokest guy in this building. And I really love that. When I first got to Dubai, I felt so insecure and so uncomfortable 
because ever it's like they're driving these cars they have these buildings like fifty seven hundred dollars a month and you have seen that apartment it's tiny it's, it's it's a one bedroom it's like a, almost like a studio but it's it makes you so hungry and i like that because you don't get comfortable when i was in colombia i was making like 36 grand a month i got comfortable because my living expenses was 1400 a month for everything gym food rent and i was living good i was ubering everywhere but i had no reason to make more money right but here now i'm forced to make more money i'm forced to be more hungry because when i go to the gym i see some dude that owns an oil company in east africa and he just bought like five properties in dubai right so when you're kind of in that environment i know it's like a self-help kind of cliche thing but it really makes you hungry i really like that i'd rather be very like feel broken insecure and uncomfortable in the best way possible because now there's more room to grow when i was on seventh i actually liked the fact that there was another guy right or like higher than me on the leaderboard because prior to that i was just the top guy i was outperforming the other all the reps on the team combined but when i got to seventh there was yash who was number one and that challenged me to really yeah like i like that because it got me uncomfortable so let's get to the gym so this is the gym you get the key you walk in over here pretty cool so you walk in it doesn't really feel like a hardcore gym but it's almost like a hotel gym but you know how a lot of hotel gyms are shit? Like the dumbbells are not many and it's just not good. But I like this gym because it's pretty much just all the things you need. Like you have the swat drive, you have all the dumbbells. How many sons We're doing a house tour. My man. But yeah, like we have the dumbbell area here. You have the squat rack. You have the cardio machine. You have all the things you need to do. So it's basically a like free gym membership. Usually I think to work out here, you have to pay like 400 bucks a month, which is but if I, because I live in this building, I basically get it. And I can bring a friend, which is dope. All right. So I like this angle, so look at it. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I, I like this building. I like this building because it's almost, it looks like the Stark Tower, when you, if you ever seen the Avengers. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's my dream apartment because you know, I've never dreamt of living in a place like this, which is pretty cool. And I'm not saying like, I don't want to be like this vlogger. It's like, yeah, like I made it, like I arrived in like whatever, but it's pretty cool. Like I never had any of this in my life, you know what I mean? So like I lived in like a small like studio apartment, but it's kind of funny. It's kind of ridiculous I'm living here, but it's, it's really fun. All right, it's cool. It goes world's tallest building in the background at the swimming pool. We're going to 54th floor. Look at that. My apartment's in the 28th floor. But yeah, 54th floor, we're gonna go over to the top of the building. They have the spa and also the infinity pool. Now, I'm a brokey, so only people allowed to go to the infinity pool, like go in there, are people that are living in the penthouse of the building or hotel guests. I'm a resident, so I don't, I'm not either one of those, so I typically don't go unless I pay. So I typically go on the bottom floor. But one day, by the way, ears pop as the elevators go. All right, cool. So in there, we have. The rooftop lounge, which is pretty cool. We're not gonna, we're not gonna show that right now. But right, we're gonna go over to the outside rooftop area. Let's go. How you doing? Okay. Long time no see. Long time no see. Two days. Yeah. Two days. <laughs> yeah, you have the tall. It's, 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 it's so cool. Like I still have this. Like I'm like, what am I doing here? Sometimes it feels like a futuristic city, doesn't it? So cool. I lived there for like a year and a half. So like, so cool. There's no water, as the Aussies used to say. Yeah, there's no water, so it looks pretty depressing right now. That's the infinity pool. Typically, they have the water there, but I think they're in construction. And you have the world's tallest building right here at the 54th floor. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I actually paid for this apartment. I, I piffed it. So it's fifty seven hundred dollars US a month, and then I the whole year's upfront I just paid. Because in Dubai they don't typically pay month to month for the rent. You either piff it, maybe a two pay, three pay, four pay max. But I just piffed it because you can go balls to the walls, and that was probably the biggest investments I made. And you know, some people said, "Yeah, LeBron, like why would you pay that much for an apartment? Like just live below your means." There's some part 
that say like, okay, lip lawyer means I've done that too, but I actually wanted to be like, you know what? Like worst case scenario, I just like pay for it. I'm not gonna go homeless. I can make money, right? I can just make that money back. And now it forces me in a position where I have to make more money. I gotta try hard to put in more work. And I actually like that. I have no regrets. I love the fact that I was here. And I met different people, not just like, just by seeing how people operate, right? There are people that, there's some girl that owns like a fashion brand and she's making me look like a brokey. She's actually gonna buy the property here. And it really makes you want to do more and I like that part. So next goal is to buy even or well, get into a bigger apartment, penthouse, maybe like a three bed. That'll be pretty dope. There are seasons to live what you means, but also isn't it f***ing dope? I don't know about you, but living in a dope place, I love that, you know? And it's not a thing. Like I don't come from like a rich family or anything like that, but I like being in places where it challenges you. So that's what I like to buy. Dubai is actually pretty fucking bad for high ticket closure, so to say, especially if it's selling to US leads. Unless you like working until 4 a.m., Bogdan likes that. You've seen Bogdan in our other videos. He likes that, which is why he sells, he does full time selling here. He's also in Dubai. Time zone not too friendly, but in your own home country, just go to whatever city is gonna challenge you like that. If you live in America, maybe go to Miami for a little bit, live there, and you'll see how other people, like it. it See, it's like in Korea, we call it a frog in a well. If you're in that well, you only see other frogs in that well that are people from your hometown. So like, they're not making that much money. It's like, whatever. But if you go to places like that, it's like, oh shit, I want to do more. So move to Miami, New York, whatever. If you live in London, maybe go to like Nashville or something like that. Sydney, good luck. But yeah, so uh, I'm shooting this because I'm actually moving out tomorrow. So as a farewell gift, it'll be pretty cool to look back at this for, for all of us. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Peace.